Hey everyone, this is a video on my most recently completed project, the Blast Amp. This Blast Amp was designed and built in order to help me play piano. My piano, over here, is a digital piano and it's hooked up to my Sony amplifier. What's also hooked up to my Sony amplifier is my computer, so when I need to switch from computer to piano in order to hear either one, um, it takes actually quite a bit of work if, you know, if I were to play piano every day, and I do, I have to do this at least twice, probably more, and the process is basically this. The amplifier has a function button and two volume buttons. When I'm at my computer setting, which is called TV, the volume has to be around 22 or 23, because any higher than that and it starts to get very loud. When I need to go to my, to my piano setting, I need to press the function button three times to bring it to audio, and then I have to bring the volume all the way up to the maximum, which is 33. That's because with the volume of 22 to 23, it's very low for the piano. So every time I switch from my piano to my computer or vice versa, I have to do this process or reverse this process. So if I went back to the computer function four times, and then the volume has to go down to 23, or 22 is fine. I would do this with the remote uh, in the past uh, more often than not, but I found that I would lose the remote just as many times. It would be on that side of the room or on the other side of the room and grabbing it or coming over here and pressing these buttons in order to get this thing working properly. It was just, uh, it was, wasn't something I wanted to do all the time. So instead what I decided to do was create this blast amp. Now this blast amp simulates the remote control by taking this remote and reprogramming any of these functions that are on the blast amp. So we have seven functions here, computer to piano, piano to computer, power, function, volume up, volume down, and special. We've also got a reprogram function in case any of these uh, need to be reprogrammed for a different amplifier or remote. Or if I ever want to switch out any of these labels with a different button, I can do that. The way you reprogram, well let me turn it on first. You turn it on, and this light should be on, but the battery is pretty low right now. If I want to reprogram the blast amp, I press the button, it starts flashing, and then I'm able to take the remote and press any of these buttons, and this electronic eye in there, if you can see it, will be able to read that signal coming out of the remote and reprogram any of these, except for computer to piano and piano to computer because those are special. So I'll take this blast amp and I'll set the setting to, let's see, we're on computer right now, so if I were to take it and go to computer to piano and press the button, let me press the button. Oh, I'm on reprogram mode. <laughs> okay, let's get out of reprogram mode first. All right, now we're on computer to piano, and I'll press the button. Okay, it takes me down to audio, and it brings the volume all the way up to maximum, which is exactly what I need to play piano. If I need to go back to the computer mode, I just switch this back to piano to computer, and press the button and it'll take me to my computer setting and bring the volume all the way back to 22. If I want to turn the amp off, press the function button just one time, bring the volume up, like so, or bring the volume down by just one, I can do that. And the special function is really just for anything extra I thought might be good for the remote, so I think I have it set to uh, loud bass, but I can change that anytime I feel the need to have a different special function. So this knob right here will be able to take you from mode to mode, and this button will execute that action. So that's basically how the blast amp works. I keep it by the piano over there by my lamp so that if ever I want to play piano, I just sit down, flip it on, press a button, and I'm ready to go. And when I'm done, I can do the reverse, press the button again, bring it back to the computer, and I'm ready to go back to my computer. So. That's how Blast Amp works. It's very simple in its execution. And thanks for watching.